Meanwhile... There you are, protein and calcium, and probably a bunch of other nutrients. Nothing personal, but if I'm gonna help my baby grow up big and strong, I need to change your class to fodder. Munch, 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 munch. Do you like it? Squee! Yeah, yeah. Pet, pet. Go on then, eat up. You've still got a lot of growing to do. Without you, I don't know what I'll do. Come to think of it, I haven't seen Bunny on the horizon recently. I wonder what she's up to. Nothing you need to worry about, boss. What's going on? You look different somehow. No, I believe I'm still within the margin of error. At any rate, boss, but I'm, I mean, those other people do seem to be taking longer than we expected. Hmm, that's so? Then we've got a real shot at winning this thing. Squee! Felicitations! You secured all the additional budget we needed. Thank you. Now on that note, I'd like to get right to discussing our filming schedule. They're really caught up in their discussions, aren't they? In that case... I think you can come out for a bit. So you knew I was here and I should have expected as much from you, Boss Wokey. No, on second thought, I'd like to call you Big Boss, if you don't mind. Uh, Daikokuten. My apologies for the intrusion, Lady Mash. I thought to address you as Boss Mash, of course. But since Lady Wokey is your boss, I thought I should just address her as Big Boss. Um, sure. Um, if that's what you'd prefer. Thank you so much for your understanding, Big Boss. As we said before, the more bosses we have, the better. Since we've sworn to serve Boss Anning right now, we can't give any direct aid to Boss Bunyan, much to our chagrin. But we can just barely get away with helping you, Big Boss Wokey. If we are scolded and or beaten for that, well, we can deal with it. In fact, we desperately want to serve you, even if it's in an imposition. We remember so vividly how excited we were when we first met you. Ah, uh, just thinking about it makes me want to multiply. Anyway, you can rest assured that we're all of one mind on that matter. I'm sorry, did you say multiply? Yes, I did. Come on, Wokey. Mash, it's time to go. Alright, I'll get back to helping you from behind the scenes. I'm hoping filming can resume quickly. Once we're done, perhaps somewhere my beloved Sita will see my gallant figure on the silver screen. Here, I'll put up a monument as a sign of my pledge. I promise I'll come back, and when I do, I won't leave again until the movie is finished. Wokey, do you have a minute? I know you must be tired, but I could really use your help in doing test shot. Why me? Sometimes staffers play extras, you know. Besides, from where I'm standing... Oh, 
I knew it, you're very photogenic. Go on, try moving around and saying something. Did Bunyan put you up to this? Oh no, this is all me. I can tell you got the makings of a star. You really do love movies, don't you? Well, of course, movies are basically magic. They inspire us to dream, to be brave, to work harder for a better tomorrow. If you want to make a story people will cherish, admire, and enjoy over and over again, then you have to make a movie. Oops, I'm sorry. I guess I got a little carried away. I wonder if Bunyan feels the same way. I can't tell you how grateful I am to the supervisor. She trusts me to handle all aspects of production. So I'm going to do the very best I can to live up to her expectations. I'm sure we'll strike gold with the next movie. She sure is not lacking in motivation. Zombie of the Dead. A mysterious substance called Rosy Rose 1789 has been scattered to the Palace of Versailles, leaving the hall splattered with vomit. Viva la France. Viva la France. Zombie Scream Queen. Ah, how tragic. Allow me to put you out of your misery. Humanely! Zombie guillotine man. Ah, serves you right. This is true liberty. True egalanti. True fatterty Zombie Terrolution Revolution C'est la vie Tips Delightful Writer's Production Note the city of Louisville was the location of the horror movie The Return of the Living Dead. It's named after King Louis XVI of France in honor of his support for the American War of Independence. Ironically, France's intervention in the war led to the bankruptcy of the French treasury and the eventual downfall of the monarchy. This is horrible. You think? I thought it turned out pretty well. One of my best. Oh my, really? You know, now that I hear you say so, I'm starting to wonder if you might be right. Don't let them fool you, your majesty. Yeah, how can I put this? This movie is entirely without love. It's all snarkiness and mean humor. You can't just put zombies in a classic movie and call it a day. No, actually that does sound fun to watch. Now I don't know what to think. That's the best part. My delightful companions are getting so incredibly popular. This movie was so successful, we've already secured money to make the next one. What is the world coming to? Well, it made people happy, then I'm a little happier too. Your Majesty? I couldn't agree more. Being popular is great. It's the greatest power in the world. That does it. I won't let anyone else see Marie reduced to this state on film. I'm suing the producers of this film. I demand that every copy be recalled and incinerated and that we receive reparations for the damage being in this film has done to our reputations. Yeah, yeah, what he said. Eep, please anything but that. We don't have that kind of money. If this is bad, if this doesn't slow down soon, I'll end up working you and Mash to death just to pay the damages. Damn it, I knew we were gonna be on the hook again. I think we need to get everyone to calm down so we can discuss this like adults. They're completely in the right, though. 
I know, but still. It looks like you've all calmed down. What a relief. I'm so sorry to cause trouble. Come on, Sanson, Corday, chin up. Besides, didn't we all agree to perform in the first place? I know we said the story was horrible, but at some point... Don't you feel like it was so bad the whole thing became fun? With regard to that, all I can say is... I will always strive to perform my assigned duties to the best of my ability. Yes, exactly. We did the very best we could. And I guess I can't deny it had its fun moments. Right. Seriously, I have to thank you all again for giving such spirited performances, and to show you I mean it, I'm going to pay you all bonuses. I'm guessing we'll have to be the ones to come up with the money for those bonuses. You guys are the best. Helping me out like this? Don't worry, I'll start fundraising right away too. We did it! We reached our target amount! Great, let's head back then. Here, Big Moss, I brought you some rice balls. Oh, thank you, Deco Kitten. But, um, we were just about to head back. Really? How foolish of me. I wish I could crawl into a hole. I'd even dig one myself. Great timing, I was just starting to get hungry. Same here, Senpai. I'd be glad to accept these rice balls. Oh, that's great to hear. Go on, then. Dig in! Look. Oh, wow. These are fresh out the rice cooker. They're delicious. Rice balls are the only thing we really know how to make. It's too bad the real Dekokuten isn't here. I'm sure he'd be more helpful. Uh, Dekokuten's a god of fortune, right? Oh, yes. He's as majestic as he is magnanimous. Though, I would be mortified at the thought of ever slighting. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh! Are you okay? Oh, I'm sorry, just a flashback. Daikokuten may be known as a god of fortune now, but he first came to prominence as Makala of India. That must mean he's both incredibly strong and incredibly fearsome. A lot of things go over my head, but knowing you, Big Boss, I'm sure you and the real Dekokuten would get along great. At least I think so. It's okay, you're plenty helpful as you are right now. Big Boss? Eep, I think I'm about to multiply. If they multiply so easily, what would that mean for Caldea's food stores? Felicitations! Now I can give everyone their bonus. Wow, so much. Um, I mean, it's a lot for a commoner like me. But what about you, your majesty? Oh yes, I'm happy to take it. It's a sign of respect, after all. Say, I know. Why don't we just use this windfall to have a little tea party with all the others? Here, I'll put up a monument to commemorate our movie success. You really love those monuments, don't you? It's okay, as long as I have my delightful employees and the support of my fans, nothing can stop me. Does that mean you're off to make another movie? Yep, that's my job. No. Our job. Oh my, I'm so jealous. I don't know what we're all going to do now. We were summoned to perform in this movie. It may not have been the kind I would have preferred. But now that we've finished our performances, our job here is over. Don't worry, you're all my precious employees. All you have to worry about is doing your best to help me. I'll worry about what exactly that would entail. That way, you don't have to think about what you need to do, right? Well, I guess that's true. If there's anything you're concerned about, just ask and I'll answer. I've got a question. Of course, what is it? 
What happens if you make a mistake? I... Well... Damn, we're gonna happen. Shut up, Mike. No way, this trap ain't shutting. God doubt about our leader here, ha. Huh. Little me and little good. A leader's always right. That's why they lead and why others follow, you hear? Every leader claims that, and they all constantly make mistakes. Wrong. Ain't no mistakes. They're just winners and losers. If your luck run dry, that's it. It's the hangman's news for you. Is that awfully short-sighted? That's enough, Mike. Sorry about that, Wookie. To answer your question, it's okay. We don't need to know. Huh? I believe in you. After all, you know the responsibility that comes with being a leader, right? Yeah, I do. Thank you, Marie Antoinette. I promise. I'll be a good leader. I'll do everything I can to make you proud of me, right to the very end. So I hope I can keep counting on your support. That sounds great. I can't wait to see the world you'll build. Don't worry, I won't let you down. Hmm. Now let's head to the next town. Next stop, Cincinnati. So we're drifting on down Ohio River then, huh? Well, I do declare that it takes me back. Can't hardly wait to see my old stomping grounds. My yesteryear kingdom. Would you just shut up, Mike? 